From the one and only, this is a Local 10 News Update, sponsored by Wellmax Medical Centers. Good evening to you. I'm Sanella Sabovic. Here's a look at the stories making news this Saturday. The historic proclamation of King Charles III took place today at St. James Palace in London. During his confirmation ceremony, he pledged to follow the inspiring examples of his mother, Queen Elizabeth II. The late queen will be laid to rest Monday, September 19th at Westminster Abbey. Several world leaders, including President Joe Biden, are expected to attend. The queen will be buried in Windsor, and her late husband, Prince Philip, is expected to be relocated so the two can be together again. Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers offering a $5,000 reward for information leading to the arrest of a shooter who killed an elderly woman last night in Liberty City. Police found 89-year-old Elizabeth Level injured after responding to what witnesses say was a drive-by shooting along Northwest 10th Avenue and 52nd Street. She was rushed to Jackson Memorial Hospital's Ryder Trauma Center, where she sadly died. Police do not believe Level was the intended target. Meantime, the search is on for yet another gunman after a man is shot in Fort Lauderdale. This was a scene just after one this afternoon along Northwest 1st Avenue. Police say the victim was found on scene with life-threatening injuries. Fort Lauderdale Fire Rescue crews rushed the man to Broward Health Medical Center where he is now being treated. Anyone with information is urged to call the Fort Lauderdale Police Department. And a dog that was stolen during an armed carjacking in North Miami has been found. The 14-year-old blind Shiba Inu's owner, Valentina, tells Local 10 she and her friend were moving things from her friend's car when all of a sudden she heard screams. Valentina says two gunmen held her friend at gunpoint and yanked her out of the car. They took off with the friend's 2017 Nissan Versa note while Valentina's pup named Tina was still inside. Luckily, police were able to locate Tina and the stolen car thanks to an anonymous tip, but the suspects are still out there. And that's all for now. Remember, you could always stay up to the minute on breaking news headlines anytime on our web channel, local10.com. Have a good night, everyone.